Hey guys, it's Chris. From things that reside on your body to things that live inside of your body, join me as I reveal nine organisms that live in the human body. Number nine, lice. Anyone ever get lice as a kid? When you're young, you must learn how to take care of your hygiene, head and hair especially, because going to school and summer camp, all kinds of things can happen, including lice. These little bugs are some of the most annoying things you can have living on you. They're perfectly made to live in your hair and suck your blood, which makes you itch like crazy. The skin on your scalp is very thin, so they can get right to the blood. Yay for them. As if that wasn't disgusting enough, they lay their eggs on your scalp. And when you have a bunch of lice in your hair, you never stop itching. They're also easily transferable, which is why if someone has lice, they're told not to go to school or work until they're gone. You need to be responsible with these things, unless you don't really like anyone you work with. Here's a not so fun fact, every year millions of people are infested with lice. Thankfully for all, there are easy ways to remove them and you're not gonna die. Number 8. Athlete's Foot Fungus Ah uh, yes, another thing that can happen when it comes to not properly taking care of your body. To be fair though, this one isn't so much on you as it is on others. For this fungus likes to spread itself in communal showers, like the ones that athletes use after a game, hence the name, Athlete's Foot Fungus. And anyone who has had this knows just how disgusting it looks and feels to have this on your body. Your feet and toenails will turn a gross shade of yellow, and if you don't treat it quickly, the fungus can move through your body and infect other areas, and even give you different diseases. For example, if you get the right, or in this case I guess the wrong one, you can actually get ringworm. And if that wasn't enough, certain strands of trichophyton and epidermophyton can cause you to itch in some very private places. Like lice, there are plenty of treatments for athlete's foot, but I do recommend being both cautious and thorough when it comes to cleaning your feet if you have to share a shower. It's just better safe than sorry, right? And maybe wear your own flip-flops and don't be sharing stuff. And now for number 7, but first make sure to hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Number 7. Bacteria in your gut there are trillions of things living inside of your body, and you might actually freak out by some of the stuff that you find there. Let's focus on your gut for now. There's a lot in there. Scientists even state that there are between 500 and 1,000 different species of bacteria within your gut alone, which is astounding when you think about it. But when you dive into the specific ones that live there, a few of the names kind of stand out, mainly E. coli, B. bifidium, and E. fecalis. Oh yeah, you have some harmful stuff in your belly guys, however you shouldn't run to the doctor just yet. These bacteria are helpful in our everyday lives, yes, even E. coli. The body has learned to develop a productive relationship with them in order to get certain things done. For example, these bacteria help our stomachs process and break down food, which is incredibly vital. More than that, these bacteria help us fight harmful bacteria and viruses that can make us sick. Sure, it doesn't work all the time, but without them, we'd get a lot sicker. They even help the immune system to help determine what is good for the body and what isn't. Still kind of hesitant? I know I am. Well, these bacteria also help in the production of things like vitamin B and vitamin K, as well as other hormones that help in daily life. Point is, while bacteria can be bad for you, we honestly couldn't live without them. Number 6. Streptococcus sanguis s mutans. Smile for me, please. No, I'm serious, smile. If you take care of your teeth, you're gonna have beautiful white things looking at you in the mirror. And if you don't, well, not so much. Whether you have the prettiest smile ever or feel the need to get your teeth cleaned by a dentist, you have something living on your teeth at all times. Specifically, you have Streptococcus sanguis and s mutans. And believe it or not, they've been on your teeth since near the very beginning. Kinda disgusting, right? That's true. Somehow, these bacteria find their way to your teeth, and they bunch up to form a film of sorts over them, and they'll stay there until you're dead, or your teeth fall out, and probably even then. These bacteria, though, are the source of any and all plaque you have on your teeth, hence the need to brush regularly. Yet because of how pervasive they are, even when you're scrubbing at full power and using the proper toothpaste, they still remain. They're just always going to be there. So while it may not seem necessary at times to brush your teeth, think of it like this. Do you really want those things to multiply and make your teeth worse? Yeah, I didn't think so. Number 5. Bacteria That Smells Imagine this, you go on a workout. 
and you do a lot of running, and then you do some bench presses, or whatever your workout is for the day. And when you're done, what do you smell? You smell yourself, obviously, but I mean, you smell bad, and that's totally natural, and it's fine, you just need a shower. The question, though, is what makes you smell? Weirdly, it's bacteria that lives in and on your body specifically your skin. Yet your sweat actually doesn't have a scent, so you can't blame that. It's the things that live on your skin that come alive in intense or stressful situations. Funnily enough, depending on the bacteria that you have on your body, you can produce different scents. So in theory, you can have a couple different people do a workout and they'll all smell differently because they each have something different on their skin. Oh, and if you're wondering who or what to blame for your armpits smelling, well, that would be coroniforms. The more of these that are on your armpits, the more they're going to smell. So be sure to wash your armpits, okay? Thank you. The world thanks you. Everyone thanks you. Number four, shingles virus. Sadly, not every living thing inside of you is harmless or even relatively harmless or can be treated with medicine or other things. Some things just live inside you until you're dead. One such thing is the shingles virus. How you get it is quite common. It's chickenpox. Yeah, most everyone before the vaccine came out would get this condition. Sure, it went away eventually, but once you got it, it sucked. But unbeknownst to you, it never went away. Not entirely. That's where the shingles virus comes into play. This virus will remain dormant inside of you and it won't go away. But unfortunately, it can be reactivated. And when it does, people get shingles, which is very, very much worse than chickenpox. In fact, many believe that because of the vaccination of chickenpox, by the time those kids are in their elder years, they'll be more likely to get the disease. It's not proven though, so we'll just have to kind of wait and see on that one. The point is though, if you've ever had chickenpox, you're a potential case for shingles. So my suggestion, take care of yourself and don't stress too much because de-stressing can help reduce the risk of shingles. Number three, ticks. If there's one thing I hate in this world, and if there's one thing that creeps me out more than anything, it's creepy crawlies. And the worst of the bunch are ticks. Ticks are technically arachnids as they have eight legs, but unlike spiders, which I also really don't like, ticks won't just settle for scaring you or biting you. They're gonna remain on you until you find them and get rid of them. Well, because these little monsters are bloodsuckers. And once they find a host, they ain't gonna go away easily. And this is bad for numerous reasons. It's never good to have your blood drained. And two, ticks are one of the many creatures that can carry and transfer diseases through contact with humans. One of the biggest ones they can give humans is Lyme disease, which can be fatal. Now you might be thinking, why wouldn't I feel a creature biting me constantly? Well, usually you would, but ticks have a chemical that numbs the part of the body they're biting. That way you can't feel it at all. And also, if you ever take your dog for a walk in the woods, make sure to check them for ticks after because they can't tell you even if they feel something. I constantly have to check my dog. Now do you see why I hate these things? Number two, Toxoplasma gondii. Here's one that'll leave you head scratching. In nature, there are many confirmed types of bacteria that can cause animals to act different. One can even turn ants into zombies, no joke. One of these bacteria is called Toxoplasma gondii, and it's been known to make rats more susceptible to suggestions, including getting the rats to be eaten by cats. So why do I bring this up? Well, it's because Toxoplasma gondii can be found in a decent percentage of the human population, even up to 84% depending on what country you're in. This has led to much research, including the question of whether these bacteria are affecting people the same way it does the rats. And the results so far? Well, it's very possible. Test subjects who are confirmed to have these bacteria in them were noted to have certain slower reaction times, and they also had a strong like of the smell of cat urine. Oh yeah, that is weird. To be fair, there are some conflicting tests and results, and a wide section of scientists don't believe it does what some think it does. But the fact that no one can deny is that humans do have it in us. And if it does have the ability to change our personalities and tastes, well, that could be bad. Number one, viruses. The top of the line and the worst thing that you can have in your body is the thing that everybody absolutely has in their body. Viruses. Viruses are the source of many illnesses, diseases, and more. Some even suspect that some of the worst illnesses, like Alzheimer's, are caused by viruses. This is scary stuff. And worst of all, they're very hard to treat. 
Some viruses can't be killed, they can only be contained, which is why there aren't cures for many virus-based illnesses. A virus is meant to corrupt, break down, and harm whatever it's inside. Humans, animals, plants, even other bacteria. And if you think about it, we hate the idea of a virus so much that we named certain bad computer programs after it. The problem here is that viruses are in you and always will be in you. They're just waiting for the opportunity to strike, and that is a terrifying note to end on. Thanks for watching. Can you believe your body has all these tiny living things inside of it? Any others you'd like to add to the list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.